Hi. I was muted. <laughs> Hi. I was honestly, I'm kind of glad I was muted. I said, I, what, I, what I was saying was kind of cringe. Not gonna lie. Kind of cringe. Glad I have a, glad I have a way to redo, I guess, my, my intro for today. But hello, everyone! Hello, 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 hello! Welcome, welcome, guys. How y'all doing today? Welcome, welcome. Today is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. And thank you guys for coming earlier to our little goody tissue stream on YouTube. On, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. <laughs> I had so much fun playing that game. Although we are stuck at one part again, but it's fine. Uh, we're just going to play it next week. <laughs> and hope for the best. I almost got through it, though. I almost got through it. It's just a matter of um, getting it perfect. Ah, uh, day better since coming in here. That's good, at least. I'm glad you're doing good. I hope everyone's doing good today. Today is Tuesday. Um, today is technically the last stream of the week for Twitch at least uh, because as you guys may have seen from our schedule uh, I'll be going on Thanksgiving break starting the 23rd all the way to the 26th I'll probably do a gorilla stream on YouTube uh, if you haven't yet please sub to my YouTube it would be super super cool if you do um, I'll be returning on the 27th with our usual TF2 Monday stream um, and I may do a gorilla on Sunday as well, depending on how I feel. But I am driving to Texas to go visit my family uh, for Thanksgiving. So uh, there are VODs. There are VODs available on uh, YouTube and any other videos you want to watch on there. I'll probably release some shorts while I'm gone as well. So if you guys want to, again, go check out my YouTube. I, I really can't stream where when I go to Texas because uh, I love my family and everything, but they're loud and very nosy. And I... And I already have a feeling someone's gonna be asking me about streams, so I just rather not take my whole ass setup. <laughs> I rather not take my whole ass setup and then just like have them be like, "Oh my gosh, you should do a stream right here for us and everything." I'm like, "No, I, I, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the embarrassment." And the thing is, my parents, my parents know. But the rest of my family kind of doesn't, or at least I assume that they don't. Um, <laughs> I assume that they don't. I don't. My, my mom and my dad, my brother and my sister, they watch my streams. However, my grandparents and my aunts, except for my aunt that I live with and uh, my cousins, don't know that I'm streaming. So, <laughs> did they try to help cover for you? No. No. No, they don't. I just try not to mention it. <laughs> I just literally try not to mention it, so it's not worth risking. I would really love to be able to do streams from there, but I literally just can't with the house environment. Hispanic family! Hispanic Latin family, please understand. La Latam and Hispanic families just like, they're, they're the loudest motherfuckers in the world, and they're the nosiest motherfuckers in the world, so I can't have shit. I can't have shit, but at least I'll be posting on Twitter, and I'll be posting on Discord. And I'll be doing a gorilla when I come back on Sunday, maybe. And I will be taking Yadifumo with me to take some pictures of her uh, while we're going around uh, the, the city and everything. So hopefully that will be super, super fun. I already have planned that I'm taking my brother and my sister to go Christmas shopping. I usually get them new shoes every year. So they wanted to go to the Converse store. It's been the, the past three years they have taken me to the Converse store for new Converses. Um... <laughs> I don't get the hype. I really don't. I mean, I like, I love Converse's. I grew up with the Converse's that go all the way up to your fucking thighs. I love them. But like nowadays, it's just like, aren't those uncomfy? <laughs> they wear them to school. I'm like, aren't those uncomfy? Don't you want like Fila's or something? Like I get you a nice pair of Fila's. Um, <laughs> and they're like, no, I want the Converse's. I'm like, those hurt. Like I remember wearing those in school, and they hurt. Like I took them. I took those pup. I, I took those fucking things off. Like after school, my feet were killing me. And mind you, I I went to school and did marching band in my Converse's. Those were horrible. That was a horrible, horrible decision. <laughs> but either way, I'm taking I'm taking my brother and my sister Christmas shopping. Um, they want Converse's, and I hope I if you want to help me with the if anyone wants to help me out with getting my brother and my sister. Um, some shoes. Yeah, feel free to. If not, I don't fucking care. Ah, and I also got something really cool in. Hold on, can I go get it? Can I go get it real quick? Hold on. Yoshi, watch the stream real quick. Mommy's gonna get her thing. Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. Watch this chat. Look at this. Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got, chat. I mean, I got a dog. I got a dog. You like my dog? <laughs> yeah, I got a dog. I just found him on the street. Uh, he just came up to me and like, <laughs> and now he's just like sitting on my bed. Okay, okay. It, it, anyways, anyways, what I actually got today, what I actually got, is it's my Jackson sweater that I got from the Amazing Digital Circus online shop. He came in. He's so cute. Look, Yoshi. It's Jax. I know. We love Jax. We love Jax. <laughs> But he's a shirt! He's so big! I don't even fit! This is so loose that I got a 2XL! Because I like my sweater super baggy, as you can see. I'm wearing a sweater right now and it's super baggy. Like, my fingies are right here. And I have to scooch it up like this. <laughs> to like, uh, make it fit. And see how scrunchy it looks? I love that. I love that. So then I got... I thought getting it at 2XL would be super nice. And it is super nice. I'm gonna wear this on the road trip starting tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. Yoshi, here. You hold on to the jack shirt. Yeah. You will hold on to the jack shirt. Yes, you will. Yeah. Oh, look at this chicken leg chat. Do you think do you think I can get a lot of meat out of that chicken leg? Look at that chicken. Hold on. Look, here's a chicken leg. Look at this chicken leg. It's like perfect chicken leg material right here. Like Drumstick, right Yoshi? Right? This can be a little, 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 just fry it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry Yoshi for bothering you. Alrighty. You're not Korean. Actually, actually. I want drumstick. Actually, I could go for a drumstick too, not gonna lie. I can go, I could go for like fried chicken. I can always go for fried chicken. What am I talking about? <laughs> Okay, okay, but yes, alrighty, alrighty, so, today guys, today, we are doing something super special, um, we have a lot of time for it, and I feel bad that I am taking a lot of days off to go on vac- uh, not really vacation, but more like, go visit my family in Texas, I don't really like call it vacation, because I feel like I'm working anyways, um, but, since I'm going to go visit my family in Texas, I feel bad that, like, I'm missing out on a lot of streaming days, a lot of streaming hours. So, to make up for it, chat, to make up for it, um, today, today, we are going to marathon all of Class of 09 The Re-Up. We did one ending last week because I had to end early. But today, we are not stopping stream until, and I mean, until... We finish all the class of 09 the re-up endings. Ah, konnichiwa, Nao chan Kiki dashita? Kiki? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Yay! <laughs> but yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are marathoning. We are not gonna stop streaming until we get to every single ending and the final bonus ending. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have one just like last time. But yes, since this is a lot shorter of a game, it should be a lot easier to get through. We already got through one ending, like I said, so we have six more technically to go, plus the, uh, plus the bonus ending, which I guess is seven at this point. So yes, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are going to be marathoning all of Class of 09, the re-up, and just see all the craziness. And of course, just like usual, you guys are going to be guiding guiding me on this adventure. You, I will be asking you guys, uh, like, which which one should I say, or like which which uh, option should I pick, or like uh, anything like that. So so yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Brap, I so agree, Umfi. I so agree. Thank you. <laughs> this hag is going to marathon Yavi, and will she make it? I will not make it. I I already have a feeling my heart will stop during this. It's, I'm gonna be turned to say so. This game has really turned me say so, and the I heard it gets worse. I heard it gets worse. We already gone through like one ending. Where she, you know, she gets shot by the fucking police officers. Thank you! Happy 10 month anniversary. Almost a year now. I can't think so see for tier one! We're telling about tell tell the anniversary to us. Almost a whole year. Yay! Thank you, thank you, friend. Oh, that means you joined in January. Whoa. Right? Yeah, January. Wow! What were we doing in January? I wonder. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, friend. Thank you so much. Peak ending. I'm very scared for this ending. I'm very scared. Alrighty, but alright, guys. Before we begin, let's go ahead and say hello to all of our lookers and fellow watchers. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. No matter what you guys are doing, working hard, playing hard, studying hard, or watching about at a later time, I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a lovely day today. Yay! Have a lovely day, everyone. Yay! 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 Okay, okay. And then we say hello to uh Twitch. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm having a massive brain fart right now. <laughs> okay, let's say hello to everyone on Twitch now. Let's start with Q, Casper Doll, Dulark, welcome, welcome, Underblend, DHG, Jolly Grand, Q, welcome, welcome, guys. How y'all doing today? Hello, hello. Uh, Gasper, welcome, welcome, Mr. Yura, welcome, welcome. How you doing today? Uh, Fun and Footy Fan, Nobite, welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Kyo, welcome, welcome. How you doing today? Credible username, welcome, welcome. How you doing, friend? Uh, let's see, let's see. Demaret, uh, Calsonic, welcome, welcome. Nao-chan, konnichiwa, genki desu. <laughs> uh, let's see. Burger Kai Skin, welcome, welcome. Uh, Zen Kitsune, thank you so much again for tier 1 at 10 months. Happy 10 month anniversary to us. At the full, welcome, welcome. Venango, welcome, welcome. Uh, and I think that's all for now. And then, of course, on Twitch or on YouTube, we have Rival X, Jan Taiwan, Jim with Eric's, RGOP, uh, Shelby, Z6, and that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Hope you guys have a lovely day today. Hope everyone has a lovely Tuesday. Hope everyone had a really, really good lunch in between the streams as well. Uh, so, hey, anyway, welcome, welcome. And uh hope you are ready. Hope you're ready for a good marathon stream. I am so ready. I am so lady. I am just so ex I'm so excited for this chat. I cannot wait to actually see all the endings, but also a part of me is like super scared. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Alrighty, chat, alrighty, as usual. Um, since we're gonna go through a lot of endings today, and I have a feeling a lot of shit's gonna get clipped. Um, let's just say, uh, this is a satire game. If you actually believe anything in this game or anything like that, you're silly. Go outside. Touch grass. <laughs> All of this is fiction. All of this is not real. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> thank you so much, Tachi, for subbing. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, and full McDonald's and ready to. Yeah, I can't, can't go outside. It's raining. Well, go touch the rain. Go touch the rain. Alrighty, alrighty. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on into it. Guys, we are continuing our run of Class 09 The Reup, and today is super special. Like I said, we are marathoning the whole freaking game because uh, I want to. I want to. So let's get this started right now. And don't forget, guys, do not forget, this stream is semi-sponsored by my FUMO. If you guys want to purchase my FUMO, use exclamation FUMO to get one right now. And if you do, if you do get a FUMO, a nice little notification will pop up and it will sound something like... It will sound something like... Uh, doko, where is it? Oh, it'll sound something like this. Okay, I guess it's not gonna go. Man. Man! It didn't go. No, it didn't go! Hold on, maybe it'll sound something like this. Oh, I guess it's down. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Okay, whatever. Just use exclamation Fumo. There you go. It's gonna come like at a super late time. I already know it. I already know it's gonna come at a super freaking late time. Also, let me change. Let me fix up my YouTube, or not YouTube, but my Twitch chat. That better? O almost better. Sorry, it's gonna bother me if I don't like fix it now. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Now it's all lined up and pretty. I like that. <laughs> what? Well, thank you. A year. Whoa. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I'm very thankful to have found you and for all the fun I've had here. Nyoru Olev. No, Nine thank five. you so much, Fashion Freak Tier 1 at 12 months. Happy one year anniversary to us. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy that new little uh badge. And I hope you can enjoy today's stream as well. Thank you, thank you, friend. Thank you so much. Yay! 
Okay, chat. Okay. So last time on the last installment of Class of 09, the re-up, we did one ending. If I remember correctly, I actually don't remember the ending. I'll be so real with you. I don't remember the ending. <laughs> the only thing I remember was Nicole got shot by the mall cop and that's it. That's all I remember. But yes, as a reminder, it is, you, it is up to you guys to decide which routes that we take. So please work together as a chat and help me pick out uh, which answers go to like the right routes and everything like that. So I hope you guys are ready to have a fun time. We're going to go ahead and just start fresh, brand new game. It's funny when a girl tells Just so we can refresh our minds. Be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't Oh, that yeah, bad. no, okay, well, I remember it now. That it was just I really remember standard. what happened other now. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. Not but here's the problem. Too. Mom oh, won't God. listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Alrighty, so, okay, I remember last time. I remember what happened last time, Wait, chat. Time. So, so fucking I remember what happened last time. So last time on Class 09 the re-up during the first ending, we went through the uh, Hunter route where Nicole basically, like, manipulated Hunter into cheating on him with, uh, him with her because Megan was a bitch. Uh, so... So that is pretty much what happened last time, and uh, uh, yeah, my poor, poor Hunter. He was really, he didn't. Why? Why are all the boy, the none of the boys? Is, is that maybe? Je I don't know. Not no, not Jeffrey. Not even Jeffrey. None of the boys in this series deserve anything. They don't deserve anything that came to them. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey, hey. Hunter, he did not deserve that. He was just a good- He was just a Christian boy who just wanted to go to church and read his Bible, okay? That's all he wanted to do. Kyler- No, Kyler didn't, didn't deserve anything either. He didn't deserve to get fucked over by Nicole either, okay? All the boys in this series, innocent. Deserve nothing. I love Kyler. I love Hunter. I kind of like Jeffrey. <laughs> He's, he's literally me, but at the same time, none of them deserve it. Even Crispin! Heck, even Crispin! As much of a stereotype that he is, he is the, none of them deserve to get, like, flacked on. That's my conclusion so far. Thank you for listening. Over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something. I scooped myself over here. Heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is Bitch why we have friends. fucking whore. Really oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell Christmas. you about iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you, like, once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? <laughs> that's, uh, no, nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, See, but like there's apps for you... <laughs> See, like, Crispin is, like, Crispin's not, a, like, out of all, like, the high school boys, Crispin's kind of the worst. But he still doesn't deserve the flack that, like, you know, he gets. He's just a dumb boy, that's it! I just want to protect him. He can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. He's supposed to tell people about games? his cool iPhone! It, it's not even, like, games, it, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? <laughs> um, 
Is that like a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That one was way too much uh, You guys are There's crazy. No <laughs> are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? Okay, chat. All right, so last time we went to the mall. Now that we, now which one should we do? Jekka's best girl. Jekka is best girl. I I love fucking Jekka. <laughs> you guys don't really hate me. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys don't really hate me. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. So one, go to the mall. Two, sit, skip school and go. Uh, skip school until lunch. Or three, hang out at home. Okay. So we got three, three, two. I don't know. Either different. Either different ones. Mm hmm. Next, at least, seems like she has a semblance of of uh, of a conscious. Got the sidekick phone. Yeah, that's a sidekick. Two, three. We got a lot of twos and threes. We got a lot of twos and threes. Three. Okay, so hang out at home. Hang out at home. I think hang out at home was winning. We'll do that one. Alrighty. E you want to watch Mythbusters? You want to like watch really Mythbusters? <laughs> at least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. Steakback Outhouse? <laughs> here without gas money and your mom only... Have you guys, have I, has anyone actually ever been to an Outback Steakhouse? I've never been to one before. Is it okay? I heard their food is nasty. Pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, This is true. Where the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke <laughs> in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom, and your brother, and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have How is she addicted? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if he ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid <laughs> question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a Wait! drug dealer movie. I they don't know what Scarface is! Man, I watched that movie with the day Around that year! Come on! Come on, even do I knew what Scarface was! Scarface is so base. I love that movie. We should watch it. It's a good Christmas movie. See, here's the thing, chat. Any movie can be a Christmas movie if you just think hard enough. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? <laughs> and don't say sobriety. Do a line of mom's pills, smoke a cigarettes indoors. Okay, chat. Which one should we do? Should we do some pills? One pills or two smoke? One or two? One, 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 one. One, one. Two, two, one. Two, one. Lots of ones. Okay, we'll do one. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. Me and my night. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Has problems, dude. It's your first time chatting. The doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we going to snort polio meds? Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move what? over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom will- <laughs> Is Scarface a Christmas movie because of all the snow in it? Yes. Yes, it is. That's why it's a Christmas movie. Thank you so much, Kumar, for the $5 super. Thank, thank you. And thank you so much, 9 by 9 for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here. I think it's the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my Dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom genes, it's just over. Tragic. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. Why does it hit so fast Whoa! when you start it? Oh, doesn't always hit like that? I never tried it. No, I like the art. Like hour when you take <laughs> the pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a I love the first, MasterCard in the corner too. Like fast. right over Tear here. Track. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. 
chat is i have a question about drugs and i don't know if you guys can answer this i think i've asked this before but i forgot the answer to it is it true if you snort enough like drugs your nose falls off no no no, it's a myth. Nah, no, depends on the drug. It will screw you up inside your nose, though. Oh yeah, well that that sounds that sounds that sounds yeah. You can bust the blood vessels. I don't think someone else is radioactive or something like you eat fish. I'm not sure the answer is no. Okay, it won't follow, but you can't really fuck up your nose and mouth. Depending on some super crazy shit, it'll get infected. If it gets infected, it could. How in the world could that happen? It can mess up the inside. Uh, if you snore dry ice, maybe? <laughs> Never realize the store something that's been cut with something bad. Ah, oh, No, it could give yourself brain damage. It might damage the capillaries in your nose, but it won't make the nose fall off yourself. By the way, uh, Calpir, thank you so much for being a first day chatter. Welcome, welcome. What kind of drugs do you do that? Probably something that's just cut bad with, like, I don't know, what fucking toxic. Fuck? How does your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... I know, in this economy? Like, none of their... Like, okay, can I be real with you, chat? My heart medication back in 09 was... Like, I want to say like 50 cents a bottle. Like, it used to be cheap. Now I have to pay $5. I have to sell some protection. I have to pay $5 for my medication, chat. The business shit it's really hitting now. Oh, yeah, I feel it too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You want to watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. We might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you want to watch Mythbusters so bad? Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing on when I skip. A uh, pill or the okay. bottle? The bottle! Give me something good. You want to try a mystery pill? I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viked up. You're good. All right, fuck it. Line it up. I hate how realistic the sounds good? are. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did I do? I don't feel anything. <laughs> really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? What if it's just a Claritin? Okay, allergies. listen. I'm listen. Available. Listen, Claritins can't fuck you up if you take enough of them. They're literally just like Benadryls. You take enough Claritin, you'll get fucked up. If you take enough Benadryl, you'll get fucked up too. You'll start seeing shadow people. Metroprolol. Generic Wait! beta law. No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic. Yeah, that's my medication. Betalock. They use that for blood sore, pressure right? in it old says, people. Yeah, you yeah. high blood pressure or tightness of chest. You <laughs> don't want a beta blocker? Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss Backlock. Listen. <laughs> old people medicine kick. <laughs> My medication was mentioned in here. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How long up is your mom to always need these? We don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of the mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy? No, you won't, before? silly. Ugh, no, she won't, silly. One pill left, just gotta get up <gasps> <these> No! <stairs. laughs> no! No! Not only is Jacka about to die, but her mom is gonna die too! <laughs> Ross are so goddamn difficult! Damn, Jacka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why?
Why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh, shit. Hey, Mom. Um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. Oh, the no. Time for excuses. Just where's my so pill? Actually, yeah, 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 it is kind um, of fatal. What do you need that for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Why is the bottle empty? Oh, my fucking God. Uh, Jekka was having a heart attack, too. Oh, God. Everything's getting dark. Call 911. Okay, Mom. Mom? Oh. What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? Damn. Anyways. So, how was the funeral? <laughs> when is expected? my metropol that bad because like it just all, all of my metropol does is just uh regulate my heartbeats um i don't really feel like i don't really have to do like t chest tightness or like blood pressure issues thankfully they literally just use it to calm down my heart whenever it's like uh going out of whack or whatever so i'm thankful that like my metropol it's it's not prescribed for like you know old people issues <laughs> Medication was mentioned. I'm gonna show this to my cardiologist. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Cause you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Oh, that's right. She wanted to move to LA. This might be that was literally question, one of the endings. But, uh, did you cry at all after your mom died? No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is? Or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. Jekka's like literally That's the most mean. sane person go here. To a therapist or talk to someone? Is she's literally the most sane person here. For me, or are you doing this to make you? I can't, I can't believe it. she's so sane. Like, yeah, bitch, you're supposed to be crying. I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. Oh. Are we gonna keep skipping? We already did theater class. We already did the theater class. So I guess we keep skipping? One? One? So one keeps skipping to theater class, so one. Everyone wants one. Theater is boring anyways. I mean, wait, I think theater's gonna take us to the, to the hunter route again, so, uh... I guess we gotta keep skipping. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole, you over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know, these teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. <laughs> oh, no, like, yeah, um, hey, I like your shirt. Okay. Is okay. <laughs> is there, like, any sort of meeting behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know? I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a Bad Religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really like <laughs> a Bad Religion fan. I only like maybe like four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly <laughs> asked me. <laughs> weekend dad? Weekend. Go, what's a weekend what's going dad? Here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. Megan no, isn't no, a bitch. It's so weird. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was Dumb fucking made. bitch. It was basically a whole story <laughs> on my journey with like finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. What? And if he loses, he's got to like... Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? 
Wait, what? I didn't- Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking- Shut the fuck up, what is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What does I'd be fucking terrified if someone approached me as to side over to me un unmoving in position. She took the dog over. No, I did it! Not because they're paid shitty and weren't this smart This Kira, Kira Buckland? Are you serious? Because salary determines how smart they are. Isn't it just a number on paper? How would she if agree to something like this? How smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. <laughs> How did such a game show Spike TV? You there, hold it. Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call Braxton? security. Braxton? Hey, you dropped what? something. Whoa. Whoa! Shit, it's cocaine! You just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out. You know, just a random ass, like, brick of cocaine. To the main foyer on the way to the bathroom. What do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after. <laughs> on a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. Well, you're not a guy teacher! <laughs> as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Did you guys have that requirement in school? Cause we didn't. I heard some states they have like community service like requirements. But in Texas, out of all the schools I went to, they never required that. Never done that in school. Yeah. See, it's a mixed bag. I dropped out based. <laughs> Is it a portfolio to graduate? I did, but it wasn't very tough. I did, but the band stuff counted. I had to do 50 hours to graduate. Hmm. Yeah, it's a mixed bag, I guess. I guess it depends on, like, the state that you live in, right? Because I didn't... I, 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 would, I never... They never asked for me to do any of that. Even when I moved to a bigger school, um, I went uh, my junior year, and they never mentioned anything about, like, community service hours, and they let me graduate, so I was like, okay. Oh, my God. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Wow, that's Something lame. Like add, Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, why would you help the people who that's pretty cool. with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're going to fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in the this class? The F word in Sorry, class. Bitch. Are we Sorry, just bitch. Sorry, bitch. drive as fast as we want? <laughs> the police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I guess they are these two different routes, chat? Are these two? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta save here. I gotta save here. I gotta save here. Wait, did we already save this? Okay, we'll save there. So, okay, okay, so let's see, let's see. Two, 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 one, one, two, two, one, two. 
Okay, we're, I guess we're I guess we're I guess we're committing I guess we're committing charity fraud. I it's guess we're committing uh, charity fraud, chat. It's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy <laughs> cause. So people are healthy. And so how do you make healthy. them healthy? Medicine. Medicine. So pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical nonprofit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed <laughs> up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. Bitch, no one asked you. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine <laughs> with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape it and murder like stop happening? It like an actual happening? class, it stops though. most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> So then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? <laughs> exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom well, a bitch? Well, so she got just a civics or politics type uh, class to graduate. Jekka I didn't mom, have a requirement so for that mom. either. There is Jekka. Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? <gasps> Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up He's and let me talk? A Hi, ben. No, no, He's wearing a Redskins jersey. All right, I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee, and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> I think he was All right, lonely. whores. Fuck like, you. Sup, <laughs> <laughs> <Some> whores. <laughs> well, fuck you, whore. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so base? Why is he so real? So good? Why is he literally the best boy in all of this fucking series? Yeah, he is quotable. Like, do you want to know my favorite my favorite quote from Kyler, guys? Do you want to know my favorite quote? My dad owns a MacBook. I should be a rapper. <laughs> I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No, I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing too? Uh, no, I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. Good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you So know? true, that is so true. I wanna kill works for a charity business. Is there, oh, okay, we wanna explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. <laughs> I know. I remember that. Why does she still have the brick? Like does she still even? have it? If it is in my favorite oh, no. gym students. We never Nasty. dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite Nasty. students? Nasty. Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about oh! that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> He's the type of guy that will take you to fucking Applebee's.
after nine for half price apps, and you can only order from the app the, the appetizer menu. How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little drunk. Half price app, guys. I didn't say that to me! It no. It's guys who say, I'm gonna show you an expensive good time, honey. And then they take it, they take it to fucking Applebee's after 9 o'clock. So you get half price apps, but you only, but you can only order from the apps menu. I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this badass brick, and money in general. Let's see. Yes, he did take her to Dave Investors. For me. Mm -hmm. I could never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'll mix well with the last <laughs> bike it in. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to... I know exactly what she's doing. <laughs> and this is not gonna end well, isn't it? Three. Oh, do we do we have to search it? Oh, we get oh we get to click it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, Hunter, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity. God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Cash. Yeah, she goes into your room, browser search history. No, it doesn't. Silly. Nicole. It's no, your it last doesn't. day to submit, or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. Yeah, it's not in there. What charity, might Silly. That be? It's not I in there. I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. <coughs> Medicine Rocks? <coughs> yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription <coughs> drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? Blah. I don't know. PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime. I'm okay. They I, I, I just swallowed some thing. water on the, no, on the, really round, on the wrong pipe. They don't because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate. I can't under believe the she actually system. got away with it. I don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. <laughs> Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed <laughs> with a gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Ew! Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. A Lunchable out of your cleavage? Okay, chat, if you were to eat a Lunchable out of someone's cleavage, what Lunchable would it be? I think I would pick the, the pizza one, because at least you can, like, spread out, like, the sauce around the titty, and you go, bleh, 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 bleh. You didn't eat Lunchables? Man. Take the pizza one. Listen! <laughs> Sandwich cheese crackers, I feel like they'll be hard to eat. World, unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that, another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> Okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really I guess Breaking Bad was still- was relevant. 
if you think about it. Yeah, this is about to be like Breaking Bad levels right here. Tiny Ziplocs. Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, Mandy, thank you so much for the follow. Look, we're going to say happy to here, friend. What else? Baking soda. A whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks. I'll explain later. How long is it going to take to find this shit? Hey, sweet cheeks. You got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with... Lunchables chicken shakeups. Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need what all the, the shit fuck? for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just did it. Fire, they such a follow up to say happy to have you here. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs. Maybe more trouble. I really love God, I freaking love the art style. For like the the scenes like this, they're really really good. They're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking about MS 13s name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS 13 is? One of my friend's cousins was an MS 13. I guess everyone's friend's cousins in MS 13. Now, and no way it's <laughs> MS 13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't oh know. Oh my god, baking? I can't Dude, believe it! Are freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah. It's Walter and Jesse! Oh my god! <laughs> around this time period. Uh, I kind of wonder if we're gonna get like a reference eventually. And here it is! Here it is! Perks and Robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do? Check out, we need to cook. Nothing. <laughs> selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany. Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. Oh my god. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try Coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. Oh All my right. god! The room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, Put the I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a here. I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me <laughs> into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out. This is get really yab, isn't it? Chat, chat, like, how, how, how yab, how yab is this gonna get? Like, on a scale from, like, yes, uh, oh, no, how bad is this? How bad is this gonna get? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm s oh. Hey, what's up? What you got? You wanna buy some crack? Whoa! What? Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour <laughs> sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. A hundred bucks in a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. 
Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time. Sate tells me he has like something yab, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm away from my teaching duty. <laughs> Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So Whoa, nice I like of her you shirt. to join us. Later what? as always. I love that shirt. Wait, I want that shirt. I want it. Does, does someone have a link to that shirt? I would like it so that way I could do a Nicole cosplay for, 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 uh, for a con I'm going to. I'm trying to get my con friends to do a uh, Class of 09 cosplay group. But it's really hard trying to convince them. Fuck you, you've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure, here you go. Of course, as I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different, different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. Honestly, I'm that's really smart if you think about that. No that's really smart, just get it over with. Just, just dedicate as much time as you can. If you need to do like community service hours, like to just just get it all done as soon as you can. It's so smart if you think about it. But of course, like this is all done in um name of crack. Cole. So I don't think that's actually. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting <laughs> these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse what happened me? with Hunter? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Oh my god. I know, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes. Take it off. I want that shirt, I don't really though. Have anything under this? Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew! How do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that, like a sport bra. Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole. <laughs> I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school. And Bro. <laughs> and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. I just forget VT. <laughs> All right, I did get the Virginia Tech thing. the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community, I guess. <laughs> Thanks so much for the follow you? Optics Frame. Welcome yeah. to the stage. Happy to have you, friend. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh my god. The principal oh, is hey, gonna Nicole, find out, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so 
I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I gotta do God, a I love this Warped Tour shirt. Fuck! I'm still so angry that like, so many, like, I just turned old enough to be able to go to like concerts on my own. And then they fucking stopped doing warp Tour. I'm still so upset about that. <laughs> I always wanted to go to Warp Tour, but by the time, like, you know, I was old enough to go, I, I, they stopped doing it! I'm so upset! Always wanted to experience it! Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's going to come through. You don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around you're and stuff. You're kidding around and cool. stuff. I'm not <laughs> no girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're going to awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean, friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the Jesus fuck? Christ! What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no. See, no one wants to fuck you. <laughs> you guys are just- No, nah, fuck man, you Crispin! Guys fuck you guys are wild. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. Man, they're so crazy, the they're so wild. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone? What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50, what do you think? I was trying to get an A minus. Cool, yeah, I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything, they're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not that keeping is true. to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, I'm- That is true. If you keep to yourself, no one will fuck with you. If you're living in dangerous neighborhoods, how do I know? I, I grew up around that. Like in my early years. Yeah. PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called it's in. It's like such a follow up. Go to the stage. Happy to have you, friend. Doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. I have Given really good prices? No! Drugs doesn't benefit the it's country. Oh, what, so now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No, okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, True. I'm gonna cut you in True. Everything. All right, then suit yourself. Oh, oh man. So you in school or Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the <laughs> fuck bitch, you wild saying that shit. You wild, you anything. What do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Oh no. Oh no. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Wait, is that is Mr. That Katz? Keep your voice down. Uh, Did Miss uh, Lynn uh, send you to spy uh, on me? Uh, no, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. <gasps> I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till oh, no. I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tail you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across yeah. the Potomac. Yeah, yeah. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say can and will be held against you. You waited two weeks to visit me? <laughs> okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here, don't go. That's what I thought. So how's Dale? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's like no options. It's not the loony bit and there's no options at all. <laughs> there's no there's options no at all. The pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. Whoa, that, that's actually pretty for little for years. I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN reruns. What's UPN? And it's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going Wait, what's UPN? to walk you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Ew. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, UPN was a low tier like local torture. network. Oh. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a J Man, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Hope we have you here, friend. Fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit. No tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats, but most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. Damn, she's so fucking deep. Right. right about what? Is get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. <laughs> what? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. But I know it would be living cold as <laughs> Give this girl a true. Give this girl a true. God, Jack is so good. Sex, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Y yeah, sort of. Yeah, so sort of. all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh, wait, no, no, don't go! Oh, man, she really fucked up. I always thought I oh, had here we go, an ending. Until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologists in here, no therapists in here, no nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So, compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Not Good just ending? Not my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends. And buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd Never mind, she didn't change. First. I Watch thought she would change. Before I finish her off. No, she's still a psychopath. Change feels pretty good. She's still a psychopath. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, this one ending where Nicole learns her lesson. Never mind. Never mind. Alrighty. 
Not sure they let you have your phone in jail, but I guess you'll see this one they let you out. So it's Serena Dalna also all your furniture. Did your clothes at that shop in Arlington and have been renting out your room on a Craigslist. You can visit every now and then, but you do not have a home, so find a job or your own place when you get out. Recession shouldn't make Recession shouldn't make it too hard! Oh no! Cause the recession happened while she was in jail! F Alrighty. Okay, chat, chat. Do we go back here? We can use the expression as an excuse or we just start a new game? Can we use depression as an excuse this time? Or do we just need to start a new game? What do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Go back? Go back? Depression? Depression? Pre-save? So go to our pre-save. Do the depression excuse. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Also, good show to see. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for your first time chatter. About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the... PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started cutting myself. <gasps> what? Oh my god! Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, That's really no, not- No, shit! Me down? <laughs> Sorry, if- Anyone has a gun I could borrow? I could just take care of myself now. A oh, gun? My I mine at home today. oh my god! Oh my god! Do you need someone to talk to? Shit! I love mine at home today. <laughs> what does that mean? Why did Hunter? What happened to Hunter? He was so good during like the the Megan the Megan Hunter route, and now he's like, "Oh, uh, fuck you! You're gay. Uh, you, you, I, sorry, I love my gun at home." What happened? His brain is turned off in class. Maybe. Maybe. No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. Oh, no. Don't I need a community oh, no. service sponsor? Oh, no. We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Cat? Well... What the fuck? Oh no, my god! No, he's such an asshole! Yourself. But Just I mean, he's into the cracks. So I don't no. think you should be talking. Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different, given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole... How that made you feel? This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole, please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first, I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay. Is she really depressed, or is she get groomed into thinking she's depressed? Because I don't trust the counselor. Hey, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait. What is it? Something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. Are you <laughs> gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone Whoa! that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But are you okay with that? 
I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant the other thing. Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. That is true. No one. Sure? Let's be so real. The most let's be so real, chat. No one actually care. No one actually cares that like you like guys or girls. Just don't be an asshole. Don't force it on other people. That's it. You can just casually mention it and be like, okay. Anyways. See, that's the thing. Just don't make it your whole personality. But back in 2009, though? Ah, uh, that's true, actually. It is 2009. That is true! I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking in current year. Ladies conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia's gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? <laughs> so, around here... You really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white ass high school 10 minutes from the Capitol. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal she's anyway. She's so right. She's so, she's so right though. She's so right. Government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Oh Look, my god! Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris with a shirt! About Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there like another part to the story or? Go down to the cafeteria, you'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. <laughs> All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Oh, that's so true, though. Well, I'll that's so see true. You somewhere, and thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch! You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. Oh man, I don't like how you this didn't is going. Start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, Scott, how you doing? A mental disorder I could pull off. Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit. We're She's so right, though. <laughs> She's so right. Where's my laptop? Oh, wait. Schizophrenia. Good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened Schizo after the Schizo hours. Let's Ari go. came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door. I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or? I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? Yeah, I'm exactly. So happy, for her. so happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks. I don't think he should be. I don't think he should be. I don't think he should be talking. I'm just gonna. I'm, it's the counselor. Do we take anything he says seriously? It's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been <laughs> so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also... I'm not gonna say anything. ...the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. 
financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? This is why I can't take anything that the counselor says. <laughs> this is why any bullshit that's coming out of his mouth, I can't believe it. But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control <laughs> law? The state law says you can't marry another girl. But does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know... Society creates laws. <laughs> But laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. <laughs> yeah, but that's not true, right, counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the This is some S-tier grooming. This is some S-tier Discord kitten grooming. And I don't like this. Wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Fuck your therapy, you tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Oh my god. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. No, Actually, I'm stop! gonna go check on her and make sure she doesn't kill herself. Nicole, wait. <laughs> wasn't walking. That wasn't like a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. This is, um... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um... <laughs> since we started doing this group counseling together, I've actually kind of been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? It's totally in a weird you know, way. it's... It's in a weird way. It's so in a weird way. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. What is that? Thanks, Ashra Follow. Look at this stage. Happy to have you here, friend. You're not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if mm. you've seen a TV in the last forever. Mm -hmm. oh, God, that me so me. true, Umfi. Ask you. Ask me why. You, um. Do you like girls, too? Oh, we should save here. We should save here. Save. Bam. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> we had two choices! Which should we go to? Try lesbian lesbianism before college or make a girl cry? One or two, chat. One or two. Oh, there's a lot of ones. There's a lot of ones! Ah, there's so many ones! <laughs> what does YouTube have to say? What does YouTube have to say? Should we do one or two? Two? One? Two? Oh, there's so many ones! Okay, okay, there's way too many ones, though! Oh, there's too many ones. Okay, 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 guys, okay, okay, we'll do one, we'll do one! We'll do one! We saved already, so we could come back to here. Do you want me to? Y yeah How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my... I hate that. I hate manipulative people like that. Or you're like, if you... Like, I, I've had... I've, I've seen guys do this actually more than girls. At least, like, where I'm from. I feel like I just had, like, a very, um... What do you call it? I had a very different... I had very different, like... I, I guess I've seen, like, very different things. But, like, in my personal experience, I don't think this is, like, the majority, though. I don't think this is the majority. But I've seen a lot more guys do this. 
where it's like, um, if you don't be my online girlfriend, I'm going to like KMS. If you don't like, um, if you don't want, if you don't send me a nude, I'm going to like, um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to cut myself or something like that. A lot of shitty guys do that. Yeah, I feel like it's like a whole bunch of like teenage, teenagers doing that. So, it's weird. Because you think, you think something like that would happen a lot more like women with guys. But I don't know. For me, I've, I've seen it more with like guys. It's weird. It feels weird like that. Because I don't think that that's the majority of like how it's supposed to happen. Nudes or I commit to... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Equates and I used to do that and we just called him a bundle of sticks. So true. Yeah, you get food more. For <laughs> thighs, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. Damn, it's actually <laughs> no! Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Happens like, yeah, it happens on both sides. No, seriously. But I'm surprised like again that it's that, in my experience, I've seen it more with guys really? than girls. You cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? Oh. It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. <gasps> only three of the windows are broken in the Camry! No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not the Camry with the three <laughs> it's such a stereotype. Just manual. Ugh. Really, fan. Thank you so much for following. Look, this day, happy to have you here, friend. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. She's gonna be so toxic, isn't she? She's gonna be very Why fucking toxic. To the bookstore. Oh no. It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter. Okay, going going to Barnes and Noble's a very nice date though. Cause that's like a whole bunch of like that's basically like topic central. You see a book and you're like, oh, have you read have you do you know anything about like da da da? Or like, oh, have you seen this anime in manga form? Or like yeah, this manga in like anime form? Like literally it is such a really perfect first date. I would not mind going to like fucking Barnes and Noble. For, like, a first date. It's such a great way to get to know someone, like, what they like or, like, their interests or something like that. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, you can find out each other's interests. Exactly! Exactly! Exactly. You get it. It's, like, coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. Yeah. Jeffrey, my beloved. Oh, no. I wonder how this is going to play out. I had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're-, but you're Hold on. <laughs> Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different. Like me. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. <laughs> oh, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, oh my go god. I never tried no, whippets. Yeah, like whippets. <laughs> Do you guys? I, ha I had and some people ask me when they made. So I had some people ask in the chat when they when we first like then they first had the whippets reference in uh, the first game. Do you guys? Do, who doesn't know what a whippet is here? Because I can explain it for those that don't know. You don't. Okay, so you don't know what a whippet is. Alrighty, so basically, it's like... <laughs> Wait, you, you know? You guys don't know what whippets are? You're like, I, it is! <laughs> yeah, it's like a Dennis called Butane. Uh, yeah, it's just can Butane. But basically, yeah, like whipped cream. No! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not American. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like whippets are definitely like an American thing. Suck in the crew. Yeah, 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 yeah! 
Yeah, so pretty much what whippets are is that you get a compressed like air can. It can be pretty much anything like the like the air that comes out of, like those uh little cans to clean like your your PC or your keyboard or like from like a like a whipping cream can or whatever the fuck. Anything that has pressurized air in it and then you suck the air out of it and then uh you get high off of that. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it's such as uh, oxide. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like compressed air, compressed air. So a lot of kids in the two thousands, uh, you they they would go to like the grocery store and get like things that had like pressurized uh compressed air in it, so, and they suck out the air so that they could get high off it. But yeah, like like uh, Cube said, it causes brain damage. You don't use cleaners because they add a bunch of preventies for doing it because it's food safe. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I remember when compressed air was cheaper because the kids get high. Yeah, because kids are getting high off of that. They made it expensive, and in some stores, you have to actually uh, show your ID to show that you're not a minor buying like I don't know compressed air. Like every time I go to Micro Center and I go buy like my new compressed air for for like cleaning my PC or whatever, I always have to show my ID. I always have to show my ID because they, they they think I'm a kid like doing it. And even though it's like most of the time, it's like the same people that are checking me out every time. They still have to check. So if you don't know what a whip it was, that is what a whip it is. So don't get high, chat. That's the lesson for today. So weird. He called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour long fight over it, right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I was right, like, don't honey? Public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want what? it in private, why would I want it in public? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't oh, know she you're is dating so... a marriage counselor. She's gonna be so toxic. Ari's gonna be really fucking toxic, isn't she? She's already showing the classic signs of, like, I'm more manipulative than Nicole. Probably. I don't know. Something tells us she's being really fucking manipulative and toxic. What's up, queers? <laughs> Why is he so good? <laughs> <laughs> Heard you guys were Dude, he's not gonna Nicole. Dude, he's not gonna Nicole. What's up, queer? <laughs> Dude, he's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you special or something? Dude, he's Why special you or care? something? Tired of hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey Hunter! What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck <laughs> Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? That is such a Kyler thing. Kyler and his dad would vote for McCain. They would! They would have! It's so accurate! He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh... Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. <laughs> what? No, no, you're gay! Oh, Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh, oh my gosh, God. she's gonna be so toxic. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back! Ugh, just yeah, that was the what, most late two thousands uh, no, conversation I ever. On my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. Jeez, your girlfriend. So, so take your bitch to Ulta. No, take your bitch to Ulta. <laughs> That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward? How? Yeah, she. Okay, where are you? So she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you, like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. This is true. This is so true. Can confirm. Source, I'm a woman. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. 
And I just want to say how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You going mean, like, full married? time with yeah. it? What? Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm a full time lesbian. I'm a, I'm a full time gay. I I my it, it I I I get paid like uh 725 an hour and I do like like I, I have like 40 40 hours a week in gay. <laughs> I I I I have 40 plus hours a week in in gay and I get paid minimum wage. <laughs> Isn't there more to a I'm relationship than money though? Maybe I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute, but I'd never cut no, a No, I'm not bitch. salaried, unfortunately. Can you believe her? Yeah, these bicurious hoes? Fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I- I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh, thank you! One year oh. with Nyoru, now you crave. Nyoru, they say that everyone has a male and female side. My female side is lesbian. Oh my god, me too, friend! Thank you so much for a tier one for 12 months. Happy 12 anniversary to us, Kuikoda. Thank you, thank you! What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you... Dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. Oh no. Yeah, I, I don't like how this is. Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that <laughs> shit? <laughs> That's so true! Smallville is for straight people! <laughs> you were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? Don't you love- Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> okay. abusive. Cool. She- yeah, and Nicole ends enough. up being okay. the toxic one here. Two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got no. all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. I saw, okay, oh, right. I didn't thought Sorry. Ari was gonna be the, yeah. like, the Good abusive, girl. like, manipulative one. You know, no, I still end up being Nicole! Nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking She's up was just seeing what I could get away with. Is this a Sigma male? Is this a Sigma male? Is this a... Dude, like, everything so far. Sigma maxing, as they would say, is this just sigma maxing? That's what the that's what the 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 chat say or whatever. This is, this is sigma maxing or whatever. She's uh, she's top maxing. <laughs> I'll literally call her a bitch to her face, and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you- You try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only the lesbian in school knows Shut there up, aren't guys. any other Shut lesbians up. to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? <laughs> but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. A toxic lesbian. Really wow! Wow! If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. <laughs> Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never You're want right, to be You're right, but some really iconic abuser. Kyler moments. I'm so sad. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole. It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? 
What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? <laughs> Tell me more. Um, he was in jail and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera and now his new album's delayed or something. A new wow, album? this is so old. I, rem I remember, I remember this. You know, why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Oh my Dude, god. You're so fucking gay. Nicole! You know what this conversation reminds me of? It reminds me of the 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 Oshi CEO or the Global V2 Award CEO. Where she's like, oh well, I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, well name one thing. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. What about something that you like? It's literally the same exact conversation! Quite literally the same! And you know what? So you know what? If my girl math is correct, that means that means that that the the CEO lady is also a groomer. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually. I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? Y you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to Chat! <laughs> Do I abuse you guys? Do I? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> you have a word into that. <laughs> Blessed kids. I think they call it sexual. Do abuse. it harder. No, what did I say? Something about fucking kids. That's it. This session is over. I'm sorry, but you'll both Thank have you to come back slap. at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every Ew. sitcom has a pedophile episode? <laughs> yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Is there a we could ask, ask for more? No! no! I'm sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, Somebody died? <laughs> it was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe <laughs> awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it... That made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls. You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting out class? <laughs> five guys. <laughs> Paying for five guys. <laughs> Here. No, I always have to pay when we go to Five Guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus, don't worry about it. But I'm just <laughs> saying, like, how are you gonna let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no! I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. <laughs> A 
Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. So Only true, Ophi! Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? <laughs> no, every time I go in the one-year school, the man's High school musical with... reference! I love high school musical! Flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with a guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, then the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling like killing myself, you know, just, 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 I'm so lazy to do hey, it. Hi? I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. Wait, We've been huh? dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What? Wait, hold on. Hold on. My girl math, girl math is not adding up here. Hold on. Hold on. Wasn't Hunter dating Megan? So that, does that mean in this timeline... They break up eventually, and then he moves on to Ari, I guess? Nicole Gruder, it's a being straight up. <laughs> yeah, it's a different timeline. It's a different timeline. So, so probably what happened in the background was Hunter broke up with Megan, and then moved on to Ari, I guess? What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? <laughs> Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. Mm -hmm. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Mm -hmm. Dating you help me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. No, Girls shut up. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. She's so right, though. She is so right. Uh, can I get a true for this bitch? And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. So you bullied a gay girl into being straight. So she's not true. straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. So Are true. you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? What's, the, yeah, what's the difference? And the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy, holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Cause usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say, he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. 
said nothing damn is everyone gonna like ostracize you her now feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty she poured her the nail polish is so fucking accurate felt about me but it's like isn't she better off like i told her it's hot she cuts herself and i wasn't lying but am i really the one here going by jekka's bitch morality abusing her was a good thing figured it out sooner than later right but then you gotta ask would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. That was a good ending. That was a good ending. All right, three down. Three down. You're a fucking bitch. Every time I miss you, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex and I can pay for that. So bitch, you're not priceless. Not even close. <laughs> thank you so much for continuing your gift sub from uh, Color Back. Thank you, thank you, Funny Funny Fan. P.S. Call me for FWB. Sorry, I'm high as... What, what's FWB? What's FWB? What's that? Oh, friends with benefits. Okay, friends with benefits. Okay, okay, okay. I get. I never. I never heard it get called that. Okay, cool. So continue. We're gonna go for the make the girl make the gay girl cry route. We're gonna go for the. Ba Does that give us a different ending? Actually, does this one give us a different ending? Okay, cool. Oh, this shit's fun. Fun? Why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I... I guess I wasn't thinking... I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you okay. were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know. Anything you want? Anything? Damn. So any depraved-ass shit you're just down for? For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? <laughs> if you want. Can I choke you if, when we make out? If you want, ooh, ooh. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, self-esteem. Oh my god, wait. I'm just not realizing. Ari's kind of me. Am I too desperate? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not gonna off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? <laughs> you leave me your eye touch? touch to a girl rejecting me. <laughs> Sorry, it works with guys, never mind. Does this it works with guys, never what? mind. Oh my god, like Jekka's so right, forever. though. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? Yeah, the one with the milkshake song. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was three out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking nine stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. I hate that. Thank you. Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. Huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. I know. So true, Umfi. I do not trust online reviews. Ever since the, the, the creation 
of Rotten Tomatoes and Kotaku. I only listen to my friends when it comes to reviews. I don't listen to st random strangers on the internet. Because their opinions, first of all, do not matter to me. And second, they're most of the time, they are wrong. And most of the time, they're probably fake and wrong. That's the worst part, is when there's random strangers with fake and wrong opinions. No, it's so dumb. Like, maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Are you saying that hating date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? I... Okay, okay, no, Godfather's pretty good. No, I don't care. I'm a bo yeah, I'm a boomer. I don't fucking care. But Godfather's pretty good. Shut up. It. My dad no. made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long, though. What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? There's like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. What the hell was that? What? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. But so another movie was- Oh, look who it is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. We heard what you Are said. You Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Because this is so accurate. This is so accurate. You reject the gay girl and then you get like fucking ostracized from society. I hate it. I hate it here. If you'll really reject a gay girl, then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here. Just oh, so, so accurate. I've seen this. I would just seen this happen. Person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. I already told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending there isn't bigotry here it must be nice to ignore it. What are you gay? No. The fuck I don't really have a story. It's just like I've homophobia. seen this exact situation she happen. Can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing Ari. Damn, that's what? Lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Days, we'll go to the stage. Happy to have you here, friend. to say the people have spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate well, gay people? Wow, welcome people? back, some dumbass nerd. there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Ugh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get more signatures. Oh my god! Am I going crazy here? How dare you? You're a Christian boy who goes to charge and raise Bible. I don't think talk you should be talking. Me and clear this up? Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari. Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own conclusion. Well, can you tell them to chill out? Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. Maybe in college. Maybe oh, in sorry. college! <laughs> Who would advise her to randomly sext people? Oh, shit. What? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. Get your own! Oh my god! As you might be aware, the school's GSA has been petitioning for your immediate expulsion. The fuck's a GSA? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a gay girl asks me out, I'm just not allowed to reject her? I'm not exactly sure that's what they're saying. The claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. What do I have to do to prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public access? Nicole, you know the public access stations wouldn't allow that. Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then Channel 4, 5, the CW, the what? CW. That's not what I meant. <laughs> so what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit! Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? Slightly he got involved with this work excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me over first. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either. Look, it's either write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. Oh my god, sensitivity, sensitivity retreat? Like retreat? Therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. You have a week to decide. You're excused. Oh my god. Waste of time. Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? Your days are numbered, bitch. Holy shit, get a hobby. Holy Girl, shit, get a hobby! <laughs> okay, let's hear your dumbass insult. <laughs> Holy shit, get a hobby! <laughs> I'm 
me telling Twitter freaks and retweeters when they get upset at me because I say opinion. Get a hobby. Go stream. Oh, wait. Yeah, stream in like six months. <laughs> what? Pile it on. I'm a homophobe, right? You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is what? Is she changeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know, maybe the straight club? The straight club? Is this going to be another, like, Mr. White sort of situation? But instead of it being, like, white supremacy, it's going to be with gay stuff? That, that, that's the conclusion I'm coming to. It's on the DL, dude. What the hell is the straight club? Just a place for us straights, you know? A group to avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? More like so incredibly fucking stupid. There's I no know, way it's real. Follow. We'll go oh, to the stage. Happy to have you here. And you're invited. I feel so special. Come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, have pizza parties. <laughs> John McCain! Hundred <laughs> percent. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck too. It's straight club movie night. Oh no, I'm scared. No, Guys, I'm scared. Guys, welcome our new member, Nicole. Oh, what's up? Fancy seeing you here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? No, nah, but I got it. Cool, let me help you. Oh, no. So you're in the straight club, huh? Let's not use the word in. Visiting, then. I guess. Yeah, I wonder what's showing show at the straight club Isn't movie night. Don't make me say it. Well, okay. Maybe it's kind of a long story. It all goes back to when I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. Like video games and anime, for starters. Don't make me say it. And I love stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Yeah, that's Good. the basic, too. <laughs> I saw other kids get Good. bullied for get being bullied. Gay or foreign, and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. <laughs> But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. Exactly. And that's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that's oh my god. Complex. Except for one thing. They saw us like that for the follow. Look at this stage. Happy to have you here, friend. I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show, but then he came out as gay, and it was like no one was allowed to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if that's true, why do we have to be so secretive of the straight pride club? Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. Uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics. It's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? Yeah, what we teacher would an sponsor this? Sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under Is it Mr. White? Sponsor us. Is it Mr. Okay, White? So what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Is it Mr. White? Greetings, fellow straights. I brought... Why? Why didn't I see this coming? <laughs> Why didn't I see this coming? I'm, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so stupid. Why didn't I see this coming? I should have seen it coming. The movie, Nicole. Of course. Now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, coach? It's not Rambo 3 again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Oh, Seen no. Leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes it so special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. 
Just a man proud of his heritage oh, kicking no. ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in their BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. Oh, so no. this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. So, rule. Nicole, <laughs> what brought you to the straight club anyway? Some drama, I don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? Not blaming all of them. Yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks won't stop till society's underwater. Yeah, we should say, publicly I the term, execute no, the those weirdos. Well, hold on, that's what when I does that start being used? What's your address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out, I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle. I told you I didn't know her fucking address. Kyla, Kyla, calm down! This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. Hey, I for thought the popularity this was the strike uh, club. I know. But the phrase is under recordings in the mid 20th century, century but hold on. I'll just look up a file okay. and get the edge. Great. Okay, okay, okay. So, to cross reference this, the phrase was uttered. In recordings from the mid 20th century by Lead Belly and Post Millennium by Erica Badu, the term woke gained further popularity in the 2010s. Over time, it became increasingly correct, uh, connected to matters beyond race, such as gender and other marginalized identities. So, it's, it's, woke is pretty old, but it really just didn't gain popularity until like 2010s. So there you go. Lesson for today. That, that, there's, your, there's your history lesson for today. Thinking, coach. Get her address for- Great. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Great thinking, coach. Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First a student files, then a drive down 95 where the gas is cheap. Down where 95? Wouldn't that take cheap. forever? <laughs> I'm not gonna burn her house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations. Hating these holos. Oh my god, this is so bad! Who could help me out of this shit? This is so what bad. The? Where'd everybody go? Maybe I should find something other than being straight. Oh, poor Jeffrey. Come on, come on. Try not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking I'm good. watching it's Drake and Josh! Really <laughs> We'll see you later. Dude, wait. What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. They all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's so it's true, Umfi. Oh. How are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies. That's all I gathered. They should be. They're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. Ew! Yeah, so they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh, yeah. Why would they burn her house down? Because they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me, and now they want revenge or something. They were set off, like, instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Because it's a hate crime that I am going to get blamed for. These guys are insane. They watch American History X with the ending cut out. But it's about a racist guy. Isn't cutting it down? good the ends where they learn how to not be racist okay okay i get it <laughs> except for one little detail what why the fuck did you come here call the police when have the police ever done anything good for us so true so true all right let me get my shoes so true is she already asleep ari ari why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently 10 feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? <laughs> it's not the car. Oh, yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. Drake and Josh is on! <laughs> on. It's almost 10. Drake is family home? No, they're out of town. What the fuck? You gotta get oh, out of shit. here. So, no, is your family Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. It's a marathon. <laughs> home no they're out of town what the fuck do you want you gotta get out of here someone's on the way to burn your house down what who would set my house on fire coach colby straight club they're mad at the 
general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime. You really got to get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera! No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no the guy from Drumline, come on! <laughs> what do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, oh, herpes fully loaded. <laughs> herpes fully loaded! Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general, just a heartless bitch. She's so right. She, she literally nailed it down. Like everything about Nicole, she nailed it down. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser, and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole. And I need what you What the bad. fuck? Bitch, you need fair- Bitch, I- I think- No, I- th Okay, so I was right! No, I was right! I was the manipulative one! She's so broken, it's hot. <laughs> they're all, they're all horrible people. Okay, but she confessed her love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way, fuck this bitch. Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh, what if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? <laughs> Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No okay, time, my get in the car. <laughs> okay, I guess, they, I guess they saved nice her? Lands you in hostage friendships? Yes. Well, the fear of being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't think it was my fault. So either and way, we ended up, up dating her. Six and hope she doesn't figure we ended up dating her either graduation. way. She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you want to watch Heroes? No, I don't want to watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. Well, no, I Jack like Heroes. Wait a minute, I like Heroes. Day. Heroes is good. See, there's homophobia here, but them burning her house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. If a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> that sucks. Nyla, emergency service request. Hello, this is 911 with the SS update on your service request. Approximate wait time for your police officer arrival is one hour. This is so accurate, by the way. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist you with your R arson hate crime. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Too long I received these messages. Reply stop. I'll text from 911 or submit to a 0 0.25 set service charge back. Jesus Christ. Okay, how many endings is that? That was four out of the seven. Four out of seven. We got three more to do. Okay, so hold on. Let's check here. Okay, so we did. We did one, two. We did four. Yeah, we did four of them. We did four. Okay, so... Continue. Uh, hold on. Can I go back? There we go. So yeah, that was four. Okay, so I guess we start a new game? Do we start a new game chat? Do we start a new game from here? 
Make a gay girl cry. Oh, oh shit, hey, don't hey, say hey, it. hey, what Again? the hell? What the hell? I... Hey, 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 what the hell? What the hell? Main menu. Sure. Okay, okay. If it ends, but they're longer. Yeah, I we want to do all the endings. That's the thing, though. We want to do all the endings tonight. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we want to do all the endings tonight. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, new game. I guess we'll do a new game. It's funny. We'll go ahead and skip this. Ooh, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Wait, nothing. It? Just moving it. Unrelated. Do you know how? To wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? Tie a noose. No what? Are Ooh, this. Okay. Okay. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the okay. climbing rope? Nothing. Just moving it. Unrelated. Do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? Different intros. In really? I, I haven't seen yeah, this intro. Okay. That's why I got confused. Boats and shit, not I got ourselves. really, really confused. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah, no. Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her <laughs> tie a noose? I didn't. Oh my God, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid mm -hmm. was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Oh, like no. Joking. Yeah, so now he's oh, just encouraged to go up to thank us thank talking you. like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? About that, why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh god. Oh god. Are you even going? I just imagine Jeffrey's voice like doing that. Okay, uh... We haven't done skip school until lunch, but you know, in the mall scene, we also didn't, we also just didn't flirt with the officer either? Two? Okay, which one should we do? Should we go to the mall chat or should we skip school? One or two? One or two. We already did three. We already did three. I'm pretty sure we did all the endings three can offer. We already did two. No, we didn't. We did three. We did three. Two. Flirt is different. I yeah, the flirt is different, right? So let's do. Let's do that. I want to do that one. I want to do that one. Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? So I'm going to skip all this because we already seen this. We already seen this before. Okay, so lead the way. Oh, you know we haven't. We also didn't do steal a ten dollar shirt either. I don't. I don't think this one matters though, right? I'm going to save right here just in case. So save. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the steal a CD. I'm gonna go back to the CD one. We already did the CD. Quick. So we'll go until we meet the cop. Since one of the scanners here. Looks like the jig is up, girls. Okay, okay, okay. Caught over stealing a twelve ninety nine CD. I hope it was. It does matter. Oh, it does matter. Okay, good thing I saved. So much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it. She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Okay, so last time we didn't make a run for it, so this time we're gonna flirt with him to get out of it. Well, do you want the truth? Of course. See, we saw you standing guard over there looking so strong. We kind of oh, wanted no. an excuse to get arrested. Oh no! Right? Uh, oh yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. Being back can have some good payoff sometimes. She, she, she kind of has a point. I, I, I kind of have to agree with her. I kind of have to agree with her. Uh, is there something you girls would like me to know? 
Yeah, actually, we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Your wife is probably such a bitch when you come home, but we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Well, my wife is a bitch cunt whore who I'm <laughs> killing first if I ever get fired. <laughs> my wife is a bitch cunt whore! Bitch cunt. Okay, okay, chat. Okay, chat. I am now referring to all women as bitch cunt whore. Thank you. And see, that doesn't scare us off at all. Yeah, you're dangerous. We want you more now. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Top golf just opened. <laughs> Top, Top golf just golf opened. <laughs> you're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. 34? Divided by two, that's, uh, hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. So you're a cop. You don't need to know math. No to know. <laughs> yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. I got a place where I'd really like to take you. Thailand? Downtown. <laughs> Shit! Over fucking MSI CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Though I will admit, you both look very mature for 13. 13? And they let you have a gun? We can't all be algebra experts. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least you didn't get what shot! The is this again? The school's sex addict rehab program. Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted. What's Lexapro? What's that? I never heard of that one. What's Lexapro? What is that? Hold on, can I look it up? It's a drug? Well, what kind of drug is it? Lexa... Lexapro? It could treat depression and generalized anxiety disorder. That's it? They made it sound- they made it sound so devious. <laughs> they made it sound so they devious! Guy. I know, we get the one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's a little entertaining to see what kids we know here. Oh, hey! Didn't know you guys had to go here too. <laughs> No. No, it's not. Hello? Earth to Nicole! Oh my god, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? Uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? So <laughs> Look, I'm talking to you such a follow up on the stage, happy to have you. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's so sexy. Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, Good totally. Good so much for being a first day chatter. Welcome, welcome. Him. Rub against him? Ugh, that's so... Ugh, sorry. Last week we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. Chat, do you have problems with not sharing inappropriate things with girls? Like, do you just have the, the sexual urge to just tell them how much you want to wank, like, their titties? Or, wait, or put, your, put your penis on their titties and then whack at them? I can't even talk to girls. Me neither, Umfi. Me neither. Axe, welcome, welcome. They're supposed to be for such chatter. I plead the fifth. Yeah, I saw sexualists were like if they would buy tacos or a taco truck at a gas station. <laughs> no, I don't see. They're supposed to be for such chatter. Welcome, welcome. They all appreciate when I tell them. <laughs> That's good, at least. That's good. A whole lesson? Yeah. Is that why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need a relapse every now and then. Are oh you my peer god. Pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My peer Valium ran out a couple <laughs> months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's Valium, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just Zen. Yeah, and Zen's a good ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, Okay, fine. I was in the after-school gaming club, playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, Oh and, my god! Uh, what a setup for this. Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no one else was around, and no! I just kind of felt like, you know, 
feeling around down there? Yeah. Well, one thing led to another, and before ah! I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. Ah! You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I ah! did it while no! playing Jack no, and he... Daxter. No, 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 no. He totally did it. He totally did it while playing Jack and Daxter. No, you can't. Finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out, and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here, or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? <laughs> so you're doing it, and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's two separate characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Why would you do LMAO. that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So was it's this a group thing? Did Jack do Jack 2? No, uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He's probably the worst one here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get... I feel so called out. The fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. I think we're gonna need a distraction. Oh, oh okay, okay, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save. Save. Bam. There we go. Okay. Should we rile up a potential stalker or get the sex addicts to fight? One or two, chat? One or two? Which one should we do? Fight, 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 two, two. Oh man, a lot of people are saying two. Okay, okay, okay. I say a lot of you guys are saying two. A lot of you guys are saying two. I say, I say, I say. Okay, even YouTube is saying two. So we gotta, we got Okay, okay. We'll come back to it. Huh. Hey Kelly, what's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? Well, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my God, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a yeah, relationship Jeffrey. with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my God, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, same. So you can just talk no! shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. Oh, oh yeah, my Ari, God. I'm not a slut okay, I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Oh Damn, my God. You the video? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp, and born again virgins like you are his army of hoes. <laughs> hey, guys, let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last virgin? <laughs> you had it coming, Jeff. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. Oh what are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the ski pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No. No! <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me. It's not love. It's just lust. Um, it's not sex? love. It's just lust. Oh, Where the they literally okay, just want to have sex? Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really thought I'd seen it all here. I don't want to think about sex for the rest of the month. Holy no, shit. Yeah, sure. God, imagine being those girls. For a week, it'd be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like... Put a cigarette out on my neck and lick the burn mark. Ew. So you want to try it? No. Fine, whatever. You never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kissed her brother on the lips white. Hello, girl. I like how a lot of incest is being is involved in this in this route. Wow. Also, groomer alert. Groomer alert. We're not groomer talking alert! about kissing, are we? Uh, no. It's all right. I'm your counselor. 
You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now, that sounds like it might be name-calling. You remember our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are oh you... Oh my god. Um, here? Why is he here? I was that you both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting yesterday and just wanted to follow up with you. Oh no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it then? Certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. Teachers are broke, right? I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck. Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? Oh! Oh, let us back here! Oh, shit. Oh, no, I see an art class option. I see- No! Oh, God! Oh, you guys grew in me! You guys grew in me into this! I can't- You guys screwed me into this! No! No, I see what you guys are doing! <laughs> I see what you guys are doing. Babe, I'll take welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching for side chatter. No grooming going on here. Nah. Nah. He said he would play. I did say I would play it all. Fuck. For Fuck. this week's assignment, let's really- Wait! Who is this?! Floor of they fired him? Oh, that's so stupid. Creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're gonna draw a Oh, he's photography. Characters. Okay, never mind. We're gonna draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper Kyler! without Kyler. the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper. It's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And with oh the medium God! of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters. Any characters you oh, draw. Oh no, is Jeffrey here? These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. Oh no. My characters murder bitches. <laughs> Be mindful. <laughs> Can my characters murder bitches? <laughs> This class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? <laughs> Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? Yeah, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll bitches and your shit. Papers and we can begin. Fuck drawing, actually draw. Okay, we're gonna save right here too. Hold on, we're gonna save. Bam. Okay, chat. What should we do? Should we one fuck drawing or two actually draw? Which one should we do, chat? Two, two, two. Two. Okay, everyone's saying two. Contented life, uh, or contented life. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you, your friend. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do two. We'll do two. We'll do two. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. I'm sensing some negativity over here, girls. It's negative to think your class is a waste of time. That's not negative. It's just accurate. Yeah, like you're gonna fail us if we're bad at drawing. I'll fail you if Correct, you're bad at drawing. Correct. Thank you so much for the follow effort. as well. We'll go get this. There's no tangible achievement in this class. That's fucking stupid. Watch the language. Watch the office. The office. Watch the office. The TV show. <laughs> yeah, it's for people who aren't funny. You'll love it. Hey, I like the office. So yeah, Kyler. Why do you have to draw Kyler. 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 Kyler, you were so good! And then you said you liked The Office. Kyler! 
Tyler, why would you betray me? You said it's so sad. <laughs> It's our last year of high school. You're never too old for creativity. We don't know what we're doing. We're just finger painting with brushes. Well, if you put the effort in, maybe you'll learn what you're doing. Or maybe I'll have to fail you for the year. No, I'll do it. It's just dumb as shit. Next terrorist attack better be in art school. Yes, <laughs> and Nicole, can I trust you'll participate? Can I trust the housing market? Your friend's doing it. Why? That was so relevant. That was so relevant. That was so relevant to the Tiberian play. <laughs> this is so bad. She wants to go to college and shit. I just want to hang out and get fucked up. Respectable. So you won't be participating. Nope. Then maybe you could serve as my teaching assistant for the year. And what's that entail? Cleaning brushes, organizing supplies, and posting to our MySpace pages. Why would you oh, put no. any of this Wait, on MySpace? Wait, MySpace? Oh my god. is the future. Uh, what if one of you kids went viral and spun a career out of it? Have you heard of Owl Town? You mean Owl City? Either way, in the arts, we embrace the future. And MySpace is that future. Welcome aboard, Nicole. <laughs> and look, look where, look where social media landed us, chat. Look, <laughs> look where social media has landed us. This is, we are in that future. And look how it is now. Just take note of that. Oh my god. Is that excitement I hear? Fine, I'll do you a little baby drawing, okay? Yeah, to where's your MySpace? Your it ability. died. Oh yeah, you'll see. Your hand's covered in that weird charcoal stuff. Yeah, I wash my hands for like two minutes. It doesn't come off. Damn, art sucks. You gotta, so okay. I'm not if you ever want to wash up charcoal, just literally get like a kitchen sponge and just scrub it off. Like even if your hands turn red. Like that's the only way to get it off. Do you like draw? I did have a MySpace. No, I was just randomly placed in it. The kids who actually wanted to be there are so annoying, too. I like taking art class. Mr. Laurie's the best. See? No, I see. See what? I gotta work on my lab. I'll see you later, Nicole. What about me? Shut up, Jeffrey! For an hour, and in two <laughs> days, I'll have to draw for another hour. What's so bad about drawing? Jeffrey, just do the lab. Well, no, what's wrong with it? Or do you not like Mr. Laurie? Uh, both? Oh, I wish more people understood him. He's been through a lot this year in his home life. How would you know? He's a teacher. They don't tell us anything. I have lunch in his classroom because no one sits with me in the cafeteria. We talk about a bunch of stuff like his house foreclosing and his wife cheating on him. Oh, and poor wait, wait, dude. Cheated on him? With who? It was, um, I think this might have been private. I don't know if I should tell you. No, come on. I can't. Oh, no. Oh, oh Jeffrey, no. Don't you want to make me happy? Oh, uh, yeah. God damn it, Jeffrey. Me, okay? God damn it, Jeffrey. The UPS man. <laughs> what? The UPS man? What? From teacher to mailman? He's so bad of a husband that she's fucking down. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Jeffrey, don't you trust me? Uh, okay, I trust you. Thank you. God, what a fucking bottom. She's fucking down. Yeah. <laughs> She's fucking down. Literally the first thing afterwards. He's fucking down. Oh my god. Not even the no, just a UPS. At least it's not the USPS, man. At least it's not the USPS, right? man. What if she's just really ugly? When you're ugly, all you can do is fuck down. Yeah, but she still cheated. It takes a lot for an ugly woman to cheat. Oh, totally. Mr. Lori had to have been into some terrible shit. But what, though? Sup, bitches. When did it get? <laughs> me? Kyla, Kyla! Motherfucker, you guys want to go to the fair with me this weekend? The fair? Yeah, with, like, games and shit. Is it 1920? Why would I go to the fair? Yeah, we have internet and Xanax. Fuck the fair. What's so bad about old stuff? 1920's a cool year. You would like a year where rape was legal. Rape was not legal in 1920. In practice, it was. God, shut up. Oh, my up. God. There's cool shit to do there. They don't even card you. Honestly, it's your loss. Hey, whoa, what's going on? Chill with the yelling. Leave me alone, bro. Don't be a bitch. Don't make me fight you. Dude, Oh, what? my don't God. Right Why is he all right up? Why are you up? still here? Me? No, both of you. I was just trying to like, he, he was kind of going at you. We're not gonna fuck either of you. 
Oh, uh, whatever then. Yeah, no. Um. We literally do that. Poor Crispin. Week. Speaking of every week, are you still watching Real Housewives Atlanta? Nah, I got tired of it. Is it bad now? No, just every commercial on Bravo is like, guess which celebrity's gay? We got him this time. It's annoying. <laughs> For the gay channel, it's kind of homophobic. Yeah, I only watch at midnight when they're selling Girls Gone Wild and Enzite. Do you think they pay well? Who, Bravo? No, Girls Gone Wild. There's my artist. Hello, girls. Oh, oh no. Let's keep the conversations to inside the classroom. Oh, I won't be long. I just wanted to compliment your effort today, Nicole. At first apprehensive, but then sinking your teeth into the assignment more than anyone. Good showing. Thanks, Mr. Laurie. I look forward to the final prize. Beautiful girls make beautiful pictures. Right, girls? Oh, no. And it's a oh, mirror photo. I'll see you on Thursday, Nicole. Oh, no. What's going to happen? What a fucking weirdo. What's his problem? I think he's a tiny bit into you. Mm-mm. First the gym teacher. Then the counselor. Are you serious? Again? We had to go through this? Cool, another child predator. You've literally said that about every guy teacher here. Well, it's literally true. You still have a dad, so they don't go for you as much. Really? Yeah, sexual father figure is like top five male fantasies. Right after murder. Oh, and if they hook up with you, there's no angry dad that Mr. White wasn't with. into kids. Exactly. So you could be prettier, but I'm way more desirable. Mr. White, the photography teacher, was never into kids. I just don't jump to all of them wanting sex. Well, no, not all of them. Just like 90%. That high? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like 90% of men have the urge to sexually murder teenage girls. Anyone who opposes that is probably like some ugly white guy who gets mad at video games. Uh, Jeffrey. Thing? Um, Jeffrey? Hello? <laughs> I wonder if Jamie Lynn had that baby yet. Excuse me, Nicole? First week of school and your friends are already pregnant. Uh, no, Mom. Jamie Lynn Spears? I don't care who her parents are. I don't want you hanging around girls oh who my make God. bad decisions. Oh, I just so got that. that. <laughs> this is a new year and I want you to start it off right. As if I did last year wrong? Oh, let me count the ways. Far too many for a number. No, I forgot You're about right. that. Name one incident. The time you dated your gym teacher? I needed money, that doesn't count. Then how about when you caused a boy to get locked in the psych ward? It's not my fault I'm beautiful, Mom. <laughs> I didn't know it was common for beautiful girls to ask for a gallon of their partner's blood. If they're beautiful and hot, absolutely. Okay, then explain the time you set a Palmia flag on fire in the cafeteria. It was funny. Honestly, it I was that for all of them. It was fucking hilarious! It's excuse after excuse. You're driving me crazy with your bullshit, Nicole! I just got the fuck home. Can we do this later? Another excuse! Get your shit together and we won't have this problem what shit i'm fine stop lying quit shoplifting don't talk back to your teachers and fix your fucking drug problem what drug problem what are you talking about stay out of my medicine cabinet nicole mom you are so fucking paranoid right now am i you wouldn't mind if i looked in your backpack would you i would mind but you wouldn't find shit anyway because you did it all at school right what is this the salem ho trials you have it's two salem options nicole <laughs> of society or live on the goddamn street right now your schoolwork is the only thing keeping you here you wouldn't kick me out i can do whatever oh, i no. want except find a good is husband, homeless right? arc shut your part two mouth. the milf window's closing mom oh i want to hit you so bad right now where's my valium top shelf on the left <laughs> why do i say we when they talk about football teams hold on what are you drawing? Can I see? No, no, not yet. Surprise. I don't know what you're drawing for this class, but it better be really good if you care this much. We're graded on effort. I wonder if art studios hire based on effort. Oh, I just finished my drawing. What'd you draw? Bitches getting killed. Women dying is cool. Am I back? Am I back?